guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this quite ghost squishy. So for this video, I'm going to be using Arteza Puppy Paint and they were really kind enough to send me free products for review. Once again, I got all these products for free, but I did search up the price online and the puppy paint is a really good deal. It's cheaper than the normal puppy paint that I use. I also got a set of fabric markers and detailed paint brushes. I've never used fabric markers before, so I can't really comment on how it compares to other brands, but I did test them out later in this video. So for the squishy, I'm using memory foam and I'm cutting it into a chat box shape. This is optional, but I also created two circles for the arms. So for my first layer, I decided to go with white paint because the glow-in-the-dark paint is translucent. I did two layers of white paint and then two layers of glow-in-the-dark paint. But if you're making this squishy, I suggest you do at least four coats of glow-in-the-dark paint because it's very translucent and you can't get the full glow-in-the-dark effect unless you add a lot of layers. The last step is to paint a face using a toothpick or you could use a detailed paintbrush set. I didn't show myself painting it on camera because I didn't want to mess up. But yeah, that's all it takes. This is a very simple squishy to make and it also glows in the dark. The rest of the video is going to be me and my friends painting tote bags using puppy paint and also the Arteza fabric markers. Here's a very smart tip for my friend if you're not a good drawer. Hey guys, so what I did was trace my image on a piece of paper and then I put it inside the bag and then I taped the bag against the window and then using a pencil I traced the outline. And here's my other friend, he's tracing a kettle for that perfect circle. These are our finished tote bags. Here's anonymous friend number one, anonymous friend number two, and then there's mine. And just for fun, I also included a clip of how the markers look on paper. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.